we had some time in the morning before going up to the glacier because I wanted to do my first sketch. And I chose something simple. I chose some little buttercup flowers that are there. So I thought it'd be fun to do something more close up at first. So I had fun shading the yellow flowers. And so I did that my first day on August 2nd, third, the next day. And this is from the same spot at Columbia. But now I'm on the ridge above our camp looking down at Blanco Lake. I've done this view before, but I really took a lot of time on it and really shaded everything carefully. And so I was just doing a quick sketch for fun that showed Blanco Lake and the surrounding hills and some of the snow around the lake. Next we went to Mount Baker and we were camping on Tarmigan Ridge by Camp Kaiser. And I love this spot, it's one of the most beautiful ones over camp. And I chose to do this view of Mount Baker because this is the view that's like right in front of us from our camp. And I thought the light on it was really pretty that evening, uh, the evening after we measured the Shoals Glacier, which is down here. And it has this like purple, purple blue lighting on it as it gets dark in the evening. And then the other snowfields still are highlighted by the sun. And I did this one in watercolors. I brought watercolors up to this spot. And so I did that one on August 5th. This is from our campsite, the same campsite. And it's on the ridge above it, and now looking back at Mount Truxton, and which is where we would be going, so I thought it would be neat to show um, a far away glimpse of Mount Truxton, and then the little slopes by camp, the little bridge where we go. So. And I also kind of included the little crevasse down here that was there for the first time, a little piece of it. I did this in the morning before we hiked out when it was an extra time watercolor. So that was on the 7th. At Lower Curtis Glacier, which is on Mount Jackson, I wanted to try and paint the terminus, which is really which is really tricky, but I thought it would be fun to challenge. And so after we measured the glacier, I sat in a ridge nearby and I tried to paint these big seracs that are um, going off the glacier down to its bottom. So I kind of just kept the Cerex this pretty light blue color. They're, the color is actually even much more beautiful. And it has these, you can see the annual layers. And so it, um, it's really complicated, but I kept it kind of simple, kind of have fun with it. On Easting Glacier, this is more of a clip stamp I did our first day working on the glacier. And so this is of a crevasse in the blue ice, and it's a little hard to make out. It's a little hard. It was a little tricky for me to depict, especially because I didn't, I didn't spend very much time on it. I just wanted to get a rough sketch. But I'm trying to show the depths of the crevasse down there. So I did that one on the tenth. I did this drawing yesterday. One of my favorite drawing locations ever, definitely, because uh, I got to go out on the little little lake that's on Iceworm Glacier, well, at the bottom of it, and it's like it's gorgeous color right here. It's more of a deep teal, but some places where it's shallower, where the snow is pretty much covering it, it's more of a, a pale teal instead. It's really pretty too, and so I was sitting out on. I was kind of just getting down the way I thought it looked really cool 
with the snow coverage on it or it was just being infused with water and leaving all these little like patterns, little maze of water where it was shallower and deeper, little pools where it was coming through and make, breaking up chunks of ice. So I had fun doing a little sketch of that. When I came out here this year, I really wanted to do a lot of the sketches in my free time. I was just having a lot of fun doing them. I kind of wanted to put aside the time to do a few more this year because I enjoy it so much. And I also had fun mixing it up and mixing up and bringing um, color pencils to some spots, watercolors to some other spots, depending on what I might want to use them for. So I had a lot of fun, and it's always fun for me to look back at these.